Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. Quick MD Minute going over latest research on intermittent fasting or something called time restrictive eating. Researchers out of the University of California and they did a study, it's just been published in Cell Metabolism, where they took 19 people. These were not healthy people. They were already on blood pressure medicine and cholesterol lowering medicine. And they did a study of them for 12 weeks where they did what's called time restrictive eating or intermittent fasting. That protocol that they used, which is an easy protocol, was 10 hours of eating. There's actually something I do. Start eating at 9.30, you're finished eating by 7.30. That's a 10 hours of eating. After that, no eating till the next day at 9.30. So it was 10 hours of eating, 14 hours of fasting. You could drink water, herbal teas, nothing with calories. That's a pretty typical intermittent fasting protocol, and they followed them for 12 weeks. And what they found was that there were significant improvements in addition to the medicine. They were already on the medicine. In addition, you got an another 11% decrease in the bad cholesterol, and that's really quite impressive. There was a 3% reduction in body weight no one was specifically trying to diet. They were eating the same. They just had to restrict the hours that they ate and a significant improvement in blood pressure. What they found was that when you do time restricted eating or intermittent fasting, approximately 9% less calories than someone who can eat as long as they like for as many hours of the day they like. The researchers have a couple of theories as to why intermittent fasting works. I think it's fascinating. Number one is that People apparently go into mild ketosis, which is a state that helps with weight loss and also blood dropping blood sugar. The second thing is that they have a theory that after about 10 hours, the glucose stores of the body get depleted and you start burning fat, burning what's called lipolysis. And the third thing, very interesting and very hot is that they think it has an effect with intermittent fasting of actually improving the function of the mitochondria, which are the little powerhouses that basically generate energy in all our cells. And this seems to improve their mitochondrial function according to the researchers. So my take on this is that I love intermittent fasting. I use it with all my patients. I do it myself. It stops you craving at night. You finish at 7.30. You drink some herbal tea, you drink some water, and you have breakfast, 9.30 the following day, and apparently it's gonna have some great medical and metabolic effect. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in.